Hello and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about the command bar in Roblox. To get your command bar, you're going to go to your view tab, click on command bar. And your command bar immediately appears at the bottom of your screen. From here, you can enter any command you like, for example, print. And I'm just going to print hello. Hit enter. Now if I go to my output window, you're going to see that it printed the statement and then it executed that statement. You can also do that inside your game in Roblox Studio. If I press play here, and now I'm inside Roblox Studio, inside the game, and I can also come down to the command bar and hit enter and it prints hello again. You can almost run any, any script you like here that you would do inside a regular script. For example, if I want to change my parts color here, I have a part inside the workspace. So if I go game dot workspace dot part dot brick color, and I'm just going to give it a new brick color dot uh, green, let's say, hit enter. And you can see my brick here has turned to green. Print. Let's say if you know you want to know what is the current you next time. Print OS time. And that's gonna give you the current Unix time. We're gonna learn more about Unix time in our future lessons. So now what is the difference between running a script here in the command bar and having a script for example, like inside the service script service. Here I have a script inside the service script service. Let me go and enable it. So it, run, so it runs now if I press play. You can see it's, it's building the stairway, right? Now, but if I press stop, everything disappears. If I were to run that script inside my, my command bar, it's going to become permanent inside my game. It's going to be part of the game design. It's not going to disappear. The only catch is the uh, command bar, you, you got to put everything in one line. So to put this whole script into one line, it's kind of difficult to see. So what you want to do is you, you, you can create a module script. So let's go to our replicate storage. We're going to create a module script and we're going to add in a function. We're going to say module dot and let's give it a function name. Let's call it stairway. Make it equals to function. And now we're going to go to our service script service. We're just going to copy this entire script, put it inside the module script, put it inside the function inside the module script. And now we can go to our command here to run that function inside the module script. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say first we got to declare a require variable. So let's call local module equals to require. And now let's give it a path name to that script inside our replicated storage. So it's going to be game dot replicated storage dot module script. Right. And now let's run that function. So we're going to say module dot stairway. All right. So now if I hit enter, as soon as I hit enter, you see my, my stairways, it's uh, building on its own. And these are going to be permanent to, to this game right here. Is it still building? It's still building. Now remember, if you want to build it inside your, your workspace, you don't need to put in the, uh, the weight if you want to, to have everything built all at once. Uh, let me go to the module script. So here we, we have a weight here. If you remove that weight, it's going to build even faster. But 
it kind of looked nice to see it's being built. So now you can see that, let me go back here, go back to the workspace. You can see that now we have like 100 new parts added to our workspace. And you can do anything you like to those parts. You can scale them if you like, right? Give it different size, change the color. You can even add scripts to it. And you can even group them together as a model and save it to Roblox and share it with the, and use it later in a different game. If I just group this, right now I have a model. I can give it a name. I can say stairway. And then I'll, I'll just publish it to Roblox, right? Save to Roblox. And when you, you have another game that needs like a, a stairway, you can use it from your toolbox. So this is a great way to help you design your game. Like instead of building these steps one by one, 100 times, you can just write a script and throw it inside the command bar and there you have it. And now let, let me go back into the service script because we want to see this inside a game, right? So I'm going to delete the script inside the service script. So we can be sure that the stairway is being built from, I can, delete this module script as well so we can be sure that this stairway is being built from inside this game and not from any script let me play now and take a look and you can tell because as soon as you go into the game you're gonna see the stairway right away it's not gonna grow see it's not a growing stairway any anymore it's part of the game now and I can go all the way up to the top of the platform Almost there, 100 steps. It's a long way to run. And I'm gonna jump off. All right, everyone, that's how you use the command bar in Roblox to help you design your games. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.